Hey everybody and welcome to Conversations for Peace. I'm Marcy Newman and I'm your Heart Shift Coach and this is day 20. So we've had 20 days of talking about peace, how to cultivate it, how to um, stay committed to some of the tools that other people have offered to you, and also to give you an opportunity to think about peace perhaps in some different ways, ways that you hadn't thought of before or hadn't really had an opportunity to view in a certain way before. And so something came to mind today that I knew immediately I wanted to share with you. And that was a conversation that I was having with someone where in a split second, I realized that I had a decision to make. I could either react, as we've spoken about in the past, emotionally, or I could step back and not take anything personally. And I realized what a powerful tool that is to stay committed to not taking anything personally. Because here's what happened. When I was able to step back and I was able to really distance myself from my own emotional reaction, I could see that that reaction was not from something that was strong in me, but rather something that was fearful in me. And I thought, wow, in that second, I could have been drawn into being conflicted within myself and also feeling conflicted about the person that I was having the conversation about, or with, I should say. And I started to think about how this plays out in our lives every single day. We are constantly being confronted, aren't we, by opportunities to make exactly that choice, to either come from this place of fear, which will immediately put us on the defensive and we will react emotionally and take something personally, start this whole wounded process. And of course, who knows how we will project that same energy out or lash out and hurt another. What I realized is really how essential it is that we step into this process of discernment at every single possible opportunity. Because when we have this attitude of discernment and in, instead of judgment of another, what happens is we start to realize that just that intention alone of discerning what's best for us and where we want to be at any given moment, whether that's in conversation or in any other kind of experience. We remember that we are creators, co-creators of every single experience. And so it's all about this self-awareness, isn't it? So what I know is that we become more powerful when we start to pay attention to whether or not we're feeling wounded. Now, for some people, they may experience that a lot in a day. For others, maybe rarely. But I do know as humans, we experience it. And the reason for that is, is that we're all coming from completely different places. But we internalize things. We have personal histories and, you know, past experiences where other hurts have occurred and we have internalized them. And we sort of are on the, on the lookout for them. And then when they arise, we just say, ah, there I was right. More evidence that everything that I was thinking was correct. And rather than responding from a place a higher place of knowingness, we have fully stepped into 
an emotional reaction that unless we catch it right in that moment will surely take us into a downward spiral. So how can we develop this awareness? We come back time and time and time again to paying attention to how we feel. That woundedness may show itself in many different ways. But if we start to recognize when we are moving into that defensive energy, we'll know immediately, ah, we have triggered an old wound, woundedness. And now here's the choice. We can either feed that energy and become more and more wounded becoming more and more dissatisfied with life and relationships, or we can step back. We can not only salvage the relationship, but we can salvage the experience. We can salvage that moment. And in truth, we are salvaging ourselves. That's how powerful one split second can be. So I don't know about you, but I'm so grateful every time I catch myself in a situation of this nature and I realize that I can come from a higher place. I don't have to react. I don't have to go into a downward spiral. I don't have to react and then project out or um, look for ways of separating myself from other people or other situations. I can be at peace. What a gift this peace is when we really make it our intention to create it and to create the awareness that sets us free from separation and from discord and from inner conflict. That's really true peace. And so I guess my message to you today is that you may not, you know, walk around in this peaceful bliss all the time. I don't. And quite frankly, I don't know anyone who does. But I do know that when we have the intention to create more peace, we'll have lots of opportunities to do so. So I want to leave that with you. Let you just think about that for a while and pay attention to the things that your spirit brings into your energy field, all of the opportunities for you to experience this too. And I hope that you'll share with us because that's what makes us more and more powerful when we share. And so today, as I have every other day, I'm going to share my peace pledge with you. And you know I take it very seriously. And I share it with you every day because I want to share the energy with you. So if you haven't yet gotten your copy, please go to heartshiftcoach.com. And you can also get seven ways to cultivate peace. Both of them are free and they will indeed help you to cultivate more of this energy so that you can live a better life too. Here's my pledge to you. I pledge to extend peace into my circle, my entire circle of influence through cultivating my own peaceful heart, my clear intentions, taking personal responsibility for my reactions, my thoughts, my beliefs, my choices, my actions, and my experiences, remembering that I co-created every single one of them. And of course, by taking compassionate action I take the Peace Pledge very seriously, and I pass it seriously through my peaceful heart to yours. Peace begins within. So peace in and peace out until tomorrow, which is the International Day of Peace. 
day 21. I'm looking forward to seeing you then with a very, very special guest. Thank you.